this Mother's Day Sunday. I hope everybody didn't eat too I'm just on the edge. We're still comfortable, but we're not putting people to bed at 6 p.m. Uh, they'll be working on drop ceiling, hanging drywall, installing cabinets, and painting. Uh, so if you would like to help with that work night, uh, just show up at the school at 6 o'clock. Uh, Pastor Randy Hopper, good morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Lord, we just uh, are so happy to be in your presence. Lord, we thank you for all of the moms who are here. And Lord, we just pray that you would give them a blessed day. Uh, and, and Father, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
they wrote that and filmed that all themselves yesterday and, uh, and edited it all.
Scott and Amber and for 20 years for Ryan and Jess. And, and Lord, we thank you for the kids that are here as well. And Lord, we just come before you and we want to pray for, for those families in black and blue marks too, to go away. So we think of uh, the friend in Dubois uh, struggling with cancer and Lord, we lift them up. And, and Father God, we just pray for, for them for recovery. Lord, for, for you to be their rock that they lean into. And, and Father God, for all of the... You know, as, as far back as I can I had always wanted to go to Disney World someday. We'll get there someday. I promise we'll get, I'll take you to Disney World. And after... We must have been nagging her constantly. She came up with a plan. Um, it was a 10-gallon. We seemed to go up any further. We'd stop in. We'd check on this thing periodically. It, it, it just never seemed to be getting any closer to the top. And, and some days it seemed like the change was going down. We're going to Disney in two weeks. <laughs> My brother was 14. My sister was four or five. You want to bring up the picture? We finally made it to Disney World in 1999 after begging her from the 70s. You have a ton of memories from this trip? Yeah. Yeah. So I was like... <coughs> You would think it's something you would look forward to for all of this time and finally getting to go. There would be so many memories that you have. But it took quite a bit of they'll save. They'll make sure that they have what they need. And the same thing is true when it comes to getting their kids into heaven. You know, Earthly, we look forward to the world and, and other places. That's part of it. The rest of that is make sure you're with her for the rest of time. And you make it to the destination of heaven. You know, Jesus himself, verse 50, Matthew 12, 46 through 50. And it says this. The crowd, his mother and brother stood outside. You know, for so long, I, I thought Jesus was being rude here. I thought maybe, Jesus, that's pretty harsh to, to, to talk like that to your mom and your brothers and your and your sister. But what do we do? This passage and what lessons that we can learn from. But before we go any further, I want to ask the Lord to bless our time together. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for the mom and for their sacrifices and for their love and for the importance of this eternal spiritual family that we're to build. And it's in Jesus. So the first eccentric family member, we all have family members that are difficult to love. We all have family members that are, we just can't seem to get along with. We have those family members. This is what it says from the scripture, because Jesus understands this completely. It says in verse 46, while Jesus was still talking to the crowd, his mothers and brothers stood outside wanting to speak to him. And so And in Mark chapter 3, verses 20 through 21, we get this sneak behind the curtain. It said that then Jesus entered a house, and again a crowd gathered so that he and his disciples were not even able to eat. And when his family heard about this, they went to take charge of him, for they said, He is out of the across here. There's something that's so much greater than your earthly family, something better than your earthly family. Jesus came to make disciples who would enter into this spiritual family so they could enjoy and peace into each other's lives, into the life of every believer. 
spiritual sons and your spiritual daughters. And it doesn't matter what your earthly family was like. It doesn't matter if you even had an earthly family. As a disciple of Jesus Christ, he is building an eternal spiritual family. It was fitting that God, for whom and through whom everything exists, should make the pioneer of salvation perfect. One who makes people holy and those who are made holy are of the same as given me. God has sent his son Jesus Christ to as his family members. You're no longer just the, the part of any spiritual family of God. Your church is your eternal. The second thing that I see from to the arms of a family member, but there will also be times when you're needed to step up and to contribute. So what will you be doing? Jesus tells us in the scripture, in verse 50. And when Luke records this event from the life of Jesus, Luke put it this way in Luke 8, 21. He said this. He replied, my mother and brothers are those who hear God's word and put it into practice. They hear it and they do it. There is obedience to our Father. And we need to be about the things that God would be about. Did you ever hear that phrase, idle hands or the devil's workshop? Yeah. Do you know where those come from? Those actually come out of the living Bible and their interpretation and their paraphrase of Proverbs 16. But what this is getting at is, is when the children become disciples of Jesus. We need brothers and sisters who will love us enough to tell us the truth of the gospel. We need sisters who will build us up instead of tear us down. We need brothers who will take another brother, a wounded brother, and put his arm over the shoulder and say, Here, let me walk with you. And this family cannot exist unless it is fulfilling the specific purposes of God. We need each other. We all need to do our part and come together as one family under the I want you to take a look at these descriptions of what heaven's going to be like. They're found in Revelations 12 and Revelations 21. And it says, oh, that's not the one that I want. I'll just read it from my paper. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God daughter without cost from the spring of the water of life, and those who are victorious will inherit all of this. I will be their God, and they will be my eternal family of his together forever. And in this family, there'll be the absence of evil and tears. There'll be the absence of death and mourning and pain. He's making everything new. And if you are his disciple, it's the getting in the presence of God for all time. No one can take that away from you. And that's why we have to tell the world. And that's why we have so many moms that are, that are pray, trying to pray their kids home. Their church this morning. Maybe they haven't joined you. They called you crazy for your faith. However, I want to give you something from the life of Jesus. And these words are found in Acts 1 14. Jesus said, Pray. Saying, how can we spread this Jesus and his message to the entire world? One in that, and maybe in that group was James. He had one of nothing to do with Jesus, and then he writes a book in the New Testament. Now they're calling him Lord. His family once thought he was crazy, and now they're calling him Lord. It can happen for you as well. Don't keep it to yourself. Get your church family involved in the pursuit of Do 
want nothing more than to see their children cross the finish line and enter into this their spiritual, eternal family. Lord, remember the prayers of the mothers here today. They would give their lives over to you. And Lord, they would no longer call you crazy, but they would call you Lord themselves. spiritual family. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, I, I said this on Thursday night as we were at the Methodist Church, but uh, there's going to be a lot of singing praise songs. And, and let's stand and get ready for our preparation for our spiritual eternity that awaits us.